gentlemen. How are you? Mr. President, I've begun to put an assessment together as to why the operation did not achieve its desired result. Well, that's fine, but I'm uh, less interested in a post-mortem than where we go from here. Where do you want to go, Mr. President? Well, Castro is going to continue to be a problem, and uh, this government is uh, committed to uh, resolving that. I'd just like to go on the record, sir. That the CIA's information about the reaction of the Cuban people was based on contact with dissidents among Castro's inner circle. Very good. You're on the record, Mr. Dulles. I uh, think it's important to stress to our allies and the communists that uh, in spite this uh, setback, that uh, our resolve is not diminished. It's a fine sentiment, Mr. President, but the Russians are going to look at it as weak and made significantly weaker by your press conference this morning. Well, I don't know if I follow you. The idea of the commander-in-chief apologizing for a military operation. Let's just say I've never seen anything like it. Well, I, I am known for breaking new ground. <laughs> you may enjoy your witticisms, but there are a hundred dead men out there. How dare you, sir? Might I remind you you're speaking to the president of the United States? And his, his apology, as you call it, was one of the, the bravest things any president has ever done. And I think we're going to come out of this stronger than ever because of it. So, so if you can't see your own culpability in this mess, I, I, I suggest that you don't belong in this room or this administration. And that goes for everyone else here. Well, you all know my brother Bobby. <laughs> <laughs>